uh, a memorial for 500,000 Russians killed in Leningrad during World War II. Uh, that was, uh, that's a cemetery there, and that's where it began. Later, he would be received by the president himself, uh, President Putin, at the sprawling Constantine Palace, his official residence. And after the summit, Mr. Putin will host Prime Minister Modi at a private dinner, uh, something on the same lines as uh, Germany's uh, Angela Merkel had uh, had a private dinner for Mr. Modi uh, when he had visited Germany. He had started his four-nation six-day trip from Germany. Now, what are the 12 agreements about that Russia and India will be signing? As we understand, they're expected to be inked between the two nations covering various sectors. What sectors? Trade, science, technology, railways, cultural exchanges, and even other business areas. The trade with Russia at the moment for India stands at about 7.8 billion US dollars, down from 10 billion in 2014. So that is what is significant. That is why this particular uh, collaboration, this meeting, the Prime Minister traveling to Russia is so very important. The two nations are hoping to raise it to about 30 billion over the next five years. So that's going to be uh, quite a lot because it is it was at 7.8 billion it was at 17.8 billion uh, at in 2014 it dropped to 7.8 billion currently that's what it stands at with russia that's the trade uh, and now they're hoping that in the next 5 years it uh, rises almost about 22 billion that is 30 billion in total so that's going to be requiring a lot of uh, uh, deals to be inked uh, and of course uh, mutual collaboration and goodwill the prime minister's uh, obviously gone to Russia from Spain earlier. So he was in Germany, he was in Spain, and he's in Russia. And we can understand he'd be heading to France too, where he sought investment, signed deals on cooperation in the field of cybersecurity. That's what happened in Spain. He sought investment, signed deals on cooperation in the field of cybersecurity and held bilateral talks with the Spanish Prime Minister too. So there is a lot that the Prime Minister is trying to do. He'll be the guest of honor at the annual St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, a business and political summit. This is the first time an Indian Prime Minister is attending a summit that will be tomorrow in St. Petersburg. So that is also significant. An international economic forum, the guest of honor, our Prime Minister, just the first time an Indian Prime Minister is attending such a summit. And around 60 Indian business leaders are attending that summit, where India has set up a Make in India pavilion. India will also host round tables and an exclusive India Eurasia economy or economic and business breakfast. So there is a lot that's happening at this point in time and uh, we are, we're tracking all that's happening out there. The Prime Minister making it very clear with a lot of uh, tweets and, and general communication that's been happening over the last few days, what he's been talking about. He's been talking about getting to St. Petersburg and making sure that uh, you know the trade talks go off well and specifically all about the nuclear uh, deal uh, that they're trying to sign that would obviously help India get a lot of power. But let's just listen in uh, to uh, the sounds uh, that are being played as uh, the Prime Minister's at that cemetery that I was talking about earlier. He's just paying tribute out there. Uh, this is where the trip has officially begun. Uh, this is, uh, just to recap, the Piskaryovskoy Cemetery, a memorial for 500,000 Russians who were killed in Leningrad during World War II.
Ладно! До встречи справа на кран! У!
Well, there you have it, uh, the Prime Minister visiting and officially beginning his uh, visit uh, to St. Petersburg. The cemetery out here is significant because this is a memorial for 500,000 Russians killed in Leningrad during World War II. Later, he is expected to be received by the President, President Putin, at the sprawling Constantine Palace, his official residence. And then there will be an economic summit where he will be meeting business leaders. And eventually, the day will end with a private dinner with the President.